So we're excited today. We have something that's uh, very different in our lives. This has nothing to do with flipping, but more about our lifestyle. So um, I'm about to meet my granddaughter for the first time. The long story behind this. Uh, my girlfriend got pregnant back in high school. We put her up for adoption because we were still in high school. And she uh, was raised by a wonderful set of parents uh, in Southern California. And when she was 15 years old, she came and found her birth mom and I and I was able to be reunited with my daughter uh, after not knowing where she was for 15 years. It was a closed adoption, so I didn't know anything about her, where she was, or anything. There was a big hole that was missing in my heart for many years. So she came and found me, 15. So now she's 33, so it's been 18 years ago, and she has a little girl. And so her name is Bailey, and so we're so excited to meet her and uh, looking forward to that. So Cruz, you're about to meet your niece. Did you know your uncle Cruz? You're gonna be Aunt Chastity, or you are Aunt Chastity. Are you excited about that? I have a very rich life. I've got a lot of children and, uh, and now grandchildren, which is really interesting. This has been an amazing experience so far. We're just getting started, just getting to know my granddaughter. And I wasn't sure what to expect, but this is an awesome moment. Your life kind of comes full circle sometimes, going from not knowing if you're going to have your ever, ever meet your own daughter to holding your granddaughter in your arm, just pretty, uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I don't even know what to say, it's so awesome. All right, so the cool part is this house is crazy right now. We've had an awesome first night hanging out with my daughter and her boyfriend and uh, my little granddaughter. Here's the cool part about being a real estate investor. I was going to bring it back to that, right? We actually own the house across the street from us. It's an Airbnb, and we're going to have them stay there for about four or five days. She's got friends she's going to see here, and her birth mom is here in our area, so she's going to be able to see her as well and spend some time. So she's going to stay literally across the street from me. I'm going to walk over in the morning, probably have some breakfast with them, and uh, start my day, and it's going to be an awesome few days coming up. So my granddaughter will be sleeping right across the street from me. So no hotel for this family. We're real estate investors. We take care of each other. Oh, and it gets crazier. So my daughter is here, and she was raised in Southern California, and so not a lot of snow that she's had. She's supposed to go home today, and again, welcome to my world, and now my daughter's world, the huge snowstorm is coming in, and they called it, the storm. The storm's name is Bailey. That's my granddaughter's name, and they call it Winter Storm Bailey, and the same exact spelling. We'll see what that looks like as she gets to see snow for the first time. So I'm going over to get those pictures right now. There you go. Just getting a little video of all the sips together. I'm here too. All right, the one's taking a real estate course. In here with the boys. Are you hanging out with the boys? <laughs> Your uncles. Look at what 2020 has yet brought us again. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I'm not even, oh, okay. <laughs> look at the snow. This is nuts. <laughs> this is so <we're> clear. <laughs> That's a car. Wow. All right, here we go. All right, I'm blazing the trail. Come here, baby. 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 Look how much snow. You want to go the snow? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, house. Oh, house. Look at that. This is Storm Bailey. 
This is Winter Storm Bailey with my granddaughter Bailey. All right, here we go. Going back home to Arizona. Is that where you go? Oh, it's freezing out here. Look at the snow. Look at that. Baby. I've done this before. I've done this before, huh? All right, I love you. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. It was so good to see you. I'll see you soon. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Take care of that family. Love you. Love you. Love you. Very safe, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So what's going through your head? Don't like seeing them go, that's for sure. Don't like seeing them go. You know, for 15 years, I didn't know who Julie was and didn't know if she was alive. Didn't know uh, where she lived, what she looked like. And then when she came and found me, it sort of completed me. You know, it filled a hole that was in my heart that I never knew. I never knew uh, if I'd ever see her again. And we just got to spend four or five awesome days together and we had storm bailey came in here and dumped 36 inches of snow on us and my granddaughter's name is bailey and now i'm watching her go back it's been an incredible week and uh just to be with her and really to seriously fill my heart there just was a huge hole there for a lot of years i don't see him again just uh, hard to hard to say goodbye to that little girl she's been uh she's been pretty awesome so so Julie's left on the road, and I had a moment to reflect here, and um, she gave me this picture from the first night she was here, and this picture she gave me, you know, really represents my family, and it's big, and it's awesome, and one of my good friends texted me last night and said, what, she was with me 33 years ago when Julie was born and given her for adoption. She said, you know, it's amazing what a masterpiece your life has turned into when it could have been very broken. And I got thinking about that. Other people sometimes go through life and make these decisions and um, you know, fracture relationships. And I've always kept them strong. With Carrie's kids, my kids, the whole family, and everybody get together and Julie have all of our siblings together. I'm blessed. My, my life has turned to be a masterpiece when it could have been a bunch of broken pieces. And I'm just, I'm overly blessed and thankful for that. More than I could ever put into words. And I just, I think it's amazing. Just keep building strong relationships, keep them strong in your life. No matter what you have to go through, keep your family strong, because at the end of the day, family's all you got.